Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Pisceans. Sun, moon, rising. Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Pisces, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info is down in the description box below. Make sure you're using that link in the description box if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize for as long as you wish. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know if this resonates and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. So Pisces, you have the Empress, the Alchemist, the Alchemical Mother, the Four of Cups, the Wandering Mind, El Nature, the Seed of Life. The King of Pentacles, the Father of Rises, and the Three of Wands, the Creative Vine Prism. Hmm. I just heard everything is connected. And I feel like that's what you're realizing. Everything in your life has been for a reason. And I feel like you're coming to this realization here. That's what I'm getting anyway. Temperance. All right, they said temperance. Temperance isn't out here, but you're finding this place of balance. Because of these realizations about instances in your life and how it all led you to where you are, the seeds that were planted, and now you're thinking about your future. This is leading to this expansion, this um empress energy right you're grounding yourself pisces because like if you are very dreamy right if you look at the four of cups here it looks like he's daydreaming right and while the universe is trying to offer him something but he's not paying attention he's just off in never never land and i feel like you snap yourself out of it because somehow this daydreaming, I feel, is what leads to these realizations about the seeds that were planted, even the ones that weren't so happy, I guess you could say, uh, had purpose. So you're realizing every experience, good or bad, had a purpose, and it all leads you to the seeds you're planting now it all has influence over this and it's giving you you're you're getting grounded right you're grounding your manifestations so they just said they're about to multiply because you're an awesome manifester but they're about to multiply right now I'm getting that from the three of wands so whatever you've been putting out there because of this connectedness, it's like it's all coming together. Whoa. Hmm. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. I just had cards fall, but when I pick them up, they're talking to me and they said rapture. So you're going to have this feeling of pleasure, joy, ecstasy. This is what this is leading to. It's like a heightened state of awareness. And you're going from the Four of Cups to this rapture. And this is resulting in this seed, okay, that's planted and, and very much grounded, right? Oh, this is, this is, wow. Tell me about the Empress. Whoa. If you had a question, the answer is yes. 
Is that all for the yes? Yes. All right. The star, the cosmic guide. You find your soul star, they're saying. Your connectedness to the earth. Wow. Talk about magician-like. A lot of the signs are getting that, but yours is on a whole, wow, different level. Because, because you're the dreamer, because you're so etheric, I think that's the right word to use. Karmic release, the sacred karmic dare. Oh my gosh. So you're releasing karma? Ties to ancestral. Ancestral what? Baggage? It that's getting released. So you're clearing, you're clearing your path. Wow. Let me get a um kipper toil and labor it's because you put the work in you put the work into yourself family room and this results in like a clean slate a clean karmic slate and i was all right they want me to mention i was listening to i forget what i was listening to probably something on youtube because i don't really watch tv right so I'm listening to YouTube about, you know, something spiritual and they were mentioning that spirit does not look at how much energy you're putting into work, like how hard you work, um, you know, with your like physical body, say, um, you know, it's that internal work, right? When we're still... They, they were saying, I think somebody was channeling and spirit was saying that that is their goal. They're trying to get us still to stop the exterior work long enough to do that interior work. And that's what you're doing. They find it amusing that we feel the harder that we work, the more results that we get when it's actually the opposite because it all comes from inside it's just that you we've got to find that tapping into point it's like and i feel like this is what you're finding and this is huge because you're going about you're going you're about to go about work totally differently the way that you see the world totally differently with a new set of eyes, with a new set of sense, right? Because like when I talk to nature, so I can talk to nature, most of you know, um, the, the messages, and I'm always amazed by their messages, but they talk about the senses and how we, we don't have just six senses. No, 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 no. There's so many more than that, but we haven't tapped into it yet. There's so many senses, like think of them as like tentacles we can put out into the universe to tap into. You're finding some of them. And I don't know if you necessarily can even put a word into it because I don't know. Nobody really ever talks about anything beyond the six senses, which I find very interesting. The Eight of Wands, the Meteor Shower. This is clarifying the Four of Cups, the Fool. Okay. The Eternal Vagabond, Hidden Inner Strength, the Shadow Cat. This is that shadow work that you're doing. You're going deep. Oh, interesting that the shadow is on the tree. And this connectedness, this grounding. You may be tapping into Earth. It's like you're taking the ethereal. You're the magician as above, so below. That's what you're doing to the core. That, that's what I'm feeling. The eight of wands. This is resulting in an internal fire. 
an internal fire that it's like these eight wands are like an additional eight senses. Think of, think of it that way. And they're saying yes. So those senses that I talked about, this is what you're discovering internally, which is so very cool. I mean, it's like they're telling me the senses that I use to communicate with um, trees, the earth. It's similar. Like they can be considered outside sense because I can't put a word to how I do it. Um, so this is very cool. I don't know who this is for, but um, hmm, there's something special coffin well everybody's special but there there's something you're tapping into here that you need to share with the world wealthy men yeah you're it, it, the old you is dead and gone that's it that's it nope you hit the jackpot you hit the you hit the jackpot the universal <laughs> jackpot that's what i'm feeling El nature, the seed of life, the hierophant, the master of keys. Yeah, you're mastering the self on a whole new level. Talk about wealthy. Pisces, spiritual evolution on steroids. The hierophant on steroids? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to call that. See, because that's beyond. You can talk about to infinity and beyond. Yes, that's exactly what this is. The hermit, the inner master. That's what I'm saying. The inner master. It's even, I just don't feel that's even big enough for what I'm feeling. Justice, the doves of um, equality. Finding that perfect balance, right? But having the ability to balance all of these new senses that you tap into for creation, for manifestation, that's what I feel like these senses are for you to tap into for manifesting specifically. Community, I told you, whatever it is that you are tapping into and learn, you need to share and teach child it could be teaching children i'm getting okay the up and coming because it's so important for the new earth there are so many master teachers that need to come out <laughs> the king of wands the glowing white stag is clarifying wow the king of pentacles the father of rises mm-hmm that's that magic in addition to that earth energy. That's magic. The moon, the silver shadow reflection, your intuition, tapping into the stars, the earth, to infinity and beyond. This is some um, magical shit which is awesome. I love that. I love that Pisces. Oh, this is going to be a long one. Oh, well, I, I don't want to leave this energy. So the Knight of Cups, the Brother of the Wild, the Queen of Swords. Wow, the Barrage Queen. You're attracting, you're going to be attracting a lot of love. So I hope you're prepared. Like people are going to be very drawn to you. But you're going to have such a sense of self that you'll know when the one comes along. Yep. False person. You're going to be able to pick out who's false, who's for you. Because you'll just know. See? You'll just know the courtship. That one's for me. And that person must be spiritual. You already know that. So the three of wands, this is that um, connectedness. 
Yep. See? You have the Five of Wands, the Jaggered Union here. You have the High Priestess, the Crescent Moon Cat. And you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Tranquil uh, Spotted Doe. Wow. You overcome many battles. Many, many battles. Okay. By connecting, making the, connecting the dots. Connecting the dots. That's what you do. And when you receive the picture, when you um, connect the dots, it's pretty wild. Distant horizons, which is essentially the three of wands. They're saying it again. Everything you want is arriving. But I feel like it's beyond your expectations. You know the saying, yeah, despair. You're going from one extreme to the other. You know the saying, uh, God can dream a bigger dream than you can ever dream for yourself. So when you put out something for manifestation and it arrives, this is like beyond what you, what anybody would ever expect, right? Which is the sweet spot because you find it, Pisces. You tap in to infinity and beyond. They keep saying that. That's kind of funny. Now they're showing me the movie, The Toy Story, which which is where it's from. I don't know if that's relevant to somebody. They're saying, yes, it is. Generosity. You can afford to be generous with the gift of your time and attention. When you discover you and you elevate to this and connect to these senses, you've got to then share. Share what you know. Whatever medium you choose okay be generous with your time here and what you have to offer because what you have to offer is pretty big nine i am compassionate it's your compassion that makes you shine you are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service <laughs> what I was just saying, right? And what you're about to do, you would have never dreamed. All right, Pisces, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box as there are many scammers about the community and know that if you get a reading with me, you'll see my face on camera and you'll get a link that's unlisted. That'll be on YouTube forever. So don't forget to comment and hit the notification bell uh, and I'll catch you on the flip side, okay, on the dailies. Namaste.